What's up guys, welcome back to Turbo, back to another video. And in today's video, I am starting off the video with my phone, but it's not gonna end with my phone. As soon as we get back to our place, I grab the camera. But we're gonna be heading over and trying to do breaking light and smog. As you guys know from the last video, we got the uh, the new lights installed into the car, so we are raving the Navy there. And then uh, we are obviously replaced brand new brakes and rotors on this car as well. So we should be pretty much good to go. We have no lights on the dash right now. Uh, we just have the PDC, which we plan on coding out because uh, yeah, we took off the PDC sensors in the rear. Other than that, we have no other codes on this car, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, let's head down and see if this thing will pass breaking light and smog. It'll be absolutely amazing if it does. Uh, and we'll be one, one step closer to get this thing legally on the road. We do have a moving permit, so do not worry. We do have insurance on the car. If you guys do not have insurance, you do not have a moving permit, do not drive your unregistered car because that will get you some serious trouble. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing smog. All right, guys, we've been officially here at the smog place for about two hours. Oh man, we're not even asking for a smog, bro. We're just here for a breaking light, dude. <laughs> Oh, where's the time gone? After about two hours, guys, we finally got our braking light just done. So now we just need to go through smog. I have no, I don't think this car would have any issues with smog, right, bro? I hope not, man, because it's going to be really bad if we do. And guys, just now pulling up to smog. So uh, yeah, hopefully everything's going to be great with the Navy. I think everything should be good. We drove it. Uh, the only reason I'm thinking it wouldn't be good for smog is that we haven't drove driven it enough, but everything else should be good to go. So hopefully it should pass. All right, guys, we just got out. Smog is officially done. So that is really good. And braking light is also done. So the only thing we have to worry about now is VIN verification when the time comes. But thankfully, everything is great in the Navy as of right now. Um, we're going to be heading over to Walmart. We got to get some cans uh, because, uh, yeah, that, <laughs> you guys heard it. We're going to be painting my brother's wheels for now, for now. You plan on getting some new wheels pretty soon, but right now how the car sits. I'm thinking um, it's just so ugly right now. It's just so ugly with these oh. wheels. Yeah. So it's not chrome, but the aluminum is so aluminum, my bad. No. And it, a lot of them's either scuffed up or they got like the blue markings or all that stuff. So it just looks absolutely terrible. Plus we actually got some spacers in from burger tuning. Uh we went ahead and placed an order on those. They just came in and I'm super happy about that as well. So I feel like for the money, you know, uh after the spacers and the painting and everything, for the money, I think it's gonna look pretty sick. Um, and then, uh, unfortunately, we don't have some tire shine. We'll have to get tire shine maybe another day. But as for today, I want to see the transformation. Let's go to Walmart, get the stuff. And let's make the transformation happen. Package acquired. And we are officially back home, guys. We got the front two on jack stands. We have a jack in the rear. I wish we had more jack stands. Probably a little more uh, safe, but uh, it is what it is. Anyways, so we are back home. And uh, as you guys can see, these wheels have just like blue markings. It's really, really, really scuffed up. And uh, these wheels are not going to stay on here for long. But just in the meantime, and as our brother saving up for a new set of wheels and it'll probably even increase the value of these when we end up selling them we're gonna go ahead and just paint them black as you guys can see they're just super hideous and also the fitment is really bad so i feel like once we actually put on the spaces that we got from burger tuning right over there it'll be absolutely beautiful see i guess at this point guys we got the car up let's go ahead and take off all four wheels <laughs> our first coat. While we wait for these guys to dry up, I pretty much put two coats on all of these. I might actually just go through one more time and just, you know, just make sure I got everything on all of these. They're looking so much better for sure. That's the thing I love about spray cans, guys. You guys can do a lot with spray cans. I think this in total, we spent about $15 for two black cans, two white cans. And honestly, all this you guys see right here is still at the first can, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, hopefully once all these dry up, I'm gonna put one more coat on there, just a quick little coat. We're gonna put on the clear coat. Then after the clear coat, these are the spaces we got from, uh, burger tuning so we got some 10 millimeters in the front and since we actually ordered two sets we do get the tool to make it easier to actually install these this tool isn't required to install them, but it just makes life a little bit easier and if you order two sets front and rear you guys get that tool for free so that's super nice so we got 18 for the rear i believe that's exactly what we need for the rear i'm hoping 10 is not going to be too much but that is obviously the smallest thing they got i hope it's not going to be too much for the front but uh from the looks of it guys it's not looking like it's gonna make a crazy difference but it should make that flush beautiful fitment and that's what we're looking for so yeah i guess in a little bit you guys are about to see me actually put on the clear coat
All right, now before we actually put in the rims, look how good those look like. Oh my God, for the money guys, about $15. Those look absolutely, like honestly, you didn't have to spend $15. I didn't even finish this can and this can. I mean, it's almost done, but I mean, you pretty much just need two cans according to the work that I did. I mean, it looks decent for the money. Again, these are not permanent. We're also gonna do some tire shine, so it's probably gonna look a lot better. But for the meantime, I think the gloss black and the yellow is gonna look so much better than the original look. And for about $8 roughly, let's say, let's say $9. $9. This is an absolute transformation. But yeah, here's the burger tuning spacers. They actually come with new bolts as well, and they are black, so that is gonna be super nice. So let's go ahead and install the fronts first. Um, yep, these are the 10 millimeters. So for those of you guys who've never actually installed spacers before, these are actually super easy to install. These don't actually have to bolt to the hub to install them. These literally just sit right on there. But to make life a lot easier, you can go ahead and use this tool, screw it in there just a little bit. You don't have to have it super snug or anything, just to where it doesn't move much. Put on the new spacer, just like that. Now that it's sitting, we can go ahead and install the new wheel. Bada bing, bada bang. And instead of using your old lug nuts, just use the new lug nuts. It's literally as easy as that. And obviously these are really nice burger tuning. They're black, the lug nuts are black. So it's gonna match up really nice. It's gonna look super clean. Also, there is some anti-seize lubricant you guys can use. Uh, I'm just gonna skip out on that. I'm probably gonna regret it later, but I'm gonna skip on that for now. And just like that guys, we have the spacers on there and the wheels. Check out the Fitbit now. That actually looks absolutely insane. I think I honestly probably would've went with the 20 for the rear. I went with the 18s just to be safe, but next time, honestly, for those of you guys who have E90s and you have stock wheels, 20 is the way to go for the rears. In my opinion, in my opinion, the 18s do look good, but I heard the 20s could rub, so uh, I, think I, I think I took the safe side, to be honest. And as for the fronts, I think they are absolutely perfect. The 10s, I thought was gonna be a little too much. It actually looks so, so, so good. And as you guys can see from the rear here, the tire does stick out a little bit. I think that looks super aggressive, but check that out guys. So finally the car at least has some black matching wheels. We definitely did put some tire shine on the wheels. I think that'll make a really nice transformation. I did order some gloss black trim just to cover this kind of like ugliness, if you guys know what I mean. Like this looks kind of matte. A lot of the car, a lot of the pieces on the car are gloss. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, put some gloss black vinyl on here, or I might actually put some matte. We'll have to see, because I have some extra matte, but I ordered some gloss black, so we'll see what we're gonna end up going with. But this looks so good, guys. Oh my God. Oh boy, let me know what you guys think down below. For the money, about $10, was this worth the transformation? I mean, obviously the wheel spacers um, was obviously about, I think, I think about $200 for the spacers, but as for the actual wheels itself, $10 to paint these. If you guys actually want these spacers, I got these from Burger Tuning. I heard a lot of negative things about spacers on eBay. Now, I absolutely don't know much whether spacers can actually be really bad for your car or not, but I never heard anything bad from Burger Tuning, so that's why I actually got these from Burger Tuning. So if you guys want these, the link's gonna be down below, but oh, man, this thing's really coming together. Hopefully the next video, guys, we did just get the carbon fiber mirror caps. Um, we're still waiting on these turn signals. We're still waiting on to get some grills and we're still waiting on our lips, side skirts. So we're still waiting on a bunch of other little things, but we did also get our spoiler. I wanna put that all in one video, just like a bunch of carbon fiber transformation on this car. But in the meantime, guys, for a car that we got for 1200 bucks, I think this thing looks absolutely insane. And thankfully today it did pass all of inspections. So that is a serious relief right there. I'm feeling so, so, so good about that. Now the next step is VIN verification before this thing's 100% on the road, but I don't see any issues in terms of VIN verification as all the original VINs, so we're graving the Navy there. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, I did tell you guys that I actually have a build that I purchased a couple weeks at this point ago. It's sitting in front of the house, and uh, it's gonna be the next build, so as soon as we get all the carbon fiber stuff on this car, we're gonna start on that new build, and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. A lot of guys have been asking for this car, but never, ever, ever actually ended up getting it because it's just super expensive. Like, for the, for the money, I would rather get an M3, so that should give you guys a hint, but, I mean, an opportunity came up, ended up copping this very, 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 very nice and rare car, so I'm pretty excited about it. Actually, I think this is more rare than an M3, to be honest. Any hizzles. If you guys are excited to see all the carbon fiber stuff, get on this car, all the black dab trims to get on this car, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are excited to see the new build, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.